my channel. If you guys are new here, my name's Shannon and I'm so glad you're here. I normally make cleaning motivation videos among many other things, but today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a vlog style video. Um, and this is probably gonna be mainly for my subscribers and people who normally watch my videos. So about a month ago, I started the process of moving. A lot of you guys who follow me on my Instagram, well, really even on YouTube knew this because I talked about it um, and said that I was going to be moving. So basically, I just wanted to explain to you guys where I've been because it's been about a month since I've been on YouTube. Um, and number one, I miss you guys so much. I miss talking to you in the comments. I miss making motivational videos for you. And I hope you guys missed me too. Um, so basically, about a month ago, I started the process of moving. Um, I had to move out of my townhouse because the owner of the townhouse wanted to move back in. So my property manager reached out to me and I knew this in the beginning when I first rented the place. Um, I had a choice then um, to move out, but I said, I know I want to go ahead and, you know, hang on to my lease uh, for the whole year because I had just moved. So I knew that when my lease was up, I was going to have to move. But then COVID hit and it kind of kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. So finally, um, the owner wanted to move back in. So I kind of had to find a place very quickly. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, some of you do, some of you don't, but I had made a little Insta story, um, just kind of trying to, I guess, motivate you guys into, into maybe like if you're having a hard time or going through similar things as me, um, but basically I'm going through a bankruptcy. Um, I am going through a lot right now financially um, with a bankruptcy. Some of you guys may have had one or um, may have never had one but know what one is. But um, essentially it's liquidating everything um, and kind of wiping the slate clean for your credit and your debt. Um, I went through a divorce, I went through a lot of things so that I had to file this. It just wasn't an option for me given my situation. So the time when I did my Insta story, I was just like really, just kind of in a sad place and just hating like the situation I was in. But I always say God always provides for us. Um, I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to get into another house just because when you're in a bankruptcy, you can't pull your credit, you can't run your credit, you can't basically use your credit. So um, I was really concerned because the property management company that I'm currently with, um, they did not have any properties for like months. She was looking and looking, didn't have anything. So I was like really freaking out. But finally she had a property that came available. Um, so I was like, thank God, I'm so happy. I don't have to worry about it. <sighs> but guys, it was a nightmare. So I got the place. Um, it just kind of things went wrong from the very start. Um, she had like told me that she needed more time and I couldn't give her more time to get the house ready because I had kind of already set things up like the moving truck and switching my utilities over and just all this stuff. So um, flash forward to the day that I'm moving, I come into the house um, and this was, she had left the key for me like in the lockbox or whatever. I come in the house and immediately was so sad, so disappointed because the person who lived in this house prior to me was a smoker. Um, I don't smoke cigarettes, I don't smoke anything. <laughs> So I was disgusted. And that's not to like throw shots at anybody who smokes cigarettes, that's fine. You do you, I'ma do me. Um, even, I have lots of friends and people who smoke, but they typically don't smoke inside their house. Um, what happens when you smoke inside the house is the nicotine gets everywhere. It gets in the carpet, it gets in the walls, in the paint, in the ceilings, in the doors, it's everywhere. And this lady like smoked, she was a heavy smoker. So. The only good news was that she really didn't smoke anywhere but her room and some, maybe sometimes the living room. Um, but the rest of the house, my kids' room, the dining room, the kitchen, the bathroom, um, the other bathroom, I should say, those rooms are just fine. The other thing is that the house is super dated. If y'all know me, I hate dated stuff. I cannot stand it. It's just an old house. Um, so I was just sad and this lady was dirty. Like the whole house was filthy. Like she never cleaned a baseboard. There were cobwebs. I was just so pissed off with my property manager for leaving it like this. Um, so, you know, of course I've been cleaning it, getting it um, in ship shape. 
condition just so we could live here but I made her go ahead and have the house painted just to try to cut some of the odor down um, we went through and we like cleaned everything with vinegar and baking soda um, like the walls before they were painted her bathroom which her bedroom is my bedroom it's the master bedroom um, and her bathroom oh my gosh y'all I have never smelled anything like that in my life like just such a strong pungent smell of cigarettes so I have been cleaning, 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 and the smell is still there in the room a little bit. It's not as bad as it was. The living room, you really can't tell. It just kind of smells old in here because it's an old house. So air fresheners everywhere. Um, but long story short, I was just super upset. Um, the, the move didn't go right. Um, I had to wait basically two days. I had all my stuff moved into the house, but I couldn't actually physically stay here because they were painting. So I stayed with my mom for a couple of days until the house got ready um, and what we decided was that I would just do a six month lease that way in six months um, the bankruptcy will have already been discharged and I'll be rebuilding my credit and I should be able to get to another place that's more up to date just nicer no cigarette smell um, so that's kind of where I've been at so even prior to me physically moving it was a really, um, it's, I mean, I know all of you guys have moved at some point, so you know, packing and just getting things ready. And because I make cleaning motivation videos, I didn't want to film that for you guys because there was going to be stuff everywhere. Like there were boxes and just stuff everywhere. So I didn't want to film that. So I decided to take a little bit of a break from YouTube, um, which kind of made me sad because I really miss, you know, making these videos, recording them, talking with you guys, interacting with you guys. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update that I'm back and I hope you guys are happy to have me back. I have lots of things in store for my channel. Um, I want you guys to leave me a comment below um, letting me know what you want to see. So I did a fall decorate and clean with me. I don't think that I'm going to do a Halloween decorate with me. I really want to, but I really just don't think I'm going to um, because I kind of want to put that same amount of money in buying decorations and all those things. I want to put that more towards like when Christmas rolls around because I plan on doing <laughs> so much decorating, so much just crafts and DIYs for Christmas. I'm so excited about it. Christmas is my absolute favorite holiday. Um, I am going to be doing a fall um, and winter leggings haul that has been requested. Um, I am going to be doing that because your girl loves leggings, okay? I don't know if you guys have seen my body shape, but I'm a little curvy, so leggings are very forgiving. <laughs> they kind of hold everything in, um, and I love them, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, but I want to know what you guys want to see. I want to make you guys happy. I want to make content that you guys enjoy watching. Of course, I'm still going to be doing cleaning motivation. Um, I know that you guys typically like to see the speed cleans, and I love doing them because I don't always have a lot of time um, when I'm cleaning to get everything done. For my new followers or new watchers or subscribers, um, I am a working mom, so I work full time. I'm a mother of two, um, so I'm doing a lot. <laughs> so, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are like that too, where you work all day and then kids are in school and a lot of your kids are in virtual school. Um, so you're not only being a mom or a wife or a girlfriend, but you're being a teacher too. So you need these speed clean uh, videos in your life. It'll motivate you. It'll give you a time that you have set to do something and you have to get everything pos that you possibly can do done in those time frames. Um, and if you don't get everything done, that's okay because tomorrow's a new day. But I am definitely going to start making those for you guys as well. Um, but I really want to know what you guys want to see. So I'm not going to go on and on and on because I have a tendency to ramble, but I just wanted to say I missed you guys. I'm back. I'm so happy for everybody who's excited to see me back and who has messaged me, um, DM'd me, commented on my videos. Um, I love it. We are so, so close to hitting 300 subscribers. Um, and I know to some people that's not a lot, but to me guys, it's a lot. Like when I started my YouTube, I never thought like, oh, somebody would want to watch little old me. Like I'm boring. I'm, you know, not anything fun to watch. Um, but 300 almost of you guys want to watch my videos and that makes me smile. That makes my heart smile. And I want to grow this channel. Um, I want to make it, you know, huge. And I want to motivate you guys, make you guys, you know, excited to get up every day and be the best mom you can be to be the best, you know, girlfriend and wife that you can be, the best homemaker that you can be, the best working mom you can be or working 
don't you don't have to be a mom just working woman um, that you can be or just be the best you you can be um, and that's what honestly watching YouTube videos does for me there's so many people that I watch that just motivate me keep me on my a game um, because I, I mean let's be honest guys like life is tough <laughs> I mean sometimes you know our feelings get in the way um, for some of us we have illnesses that get in the way or mental illness is such a broad thing that nobody really talks about um, you know I myself struggle with depression I have OCD all these things anxiety they creep in so when you have these people to kind of watch and kind of look up to and say well she's doing it I can do it too you know she got up today you know she took the day um, and made something of it and she got all these things done and you know she was the best mom wife girlfriend woman that she could be that's what I want to be for you guys so I'm so happy that you're still here and if you guys are not um, yet a subscriber I would love for you to click that subscribe button be notified of every new video um, another thing that I really haven't touched on in a video yet is I did change my channel name um, because I originally had Shannon Bobannon because that's kind of like been my nickname since I was a kid but I don't think it really like resonated with my channel so what I did was I changed it to this messy life um, I just felt like it was a little bit more you know accurate <laughs> for my channel so um, you guys can follow me on my Instagram at this messy life underscore um, and it's just a little bit more personal look at my life and eventually I will get used to doing like these type of videos like vlogs where I'm just talking to you um, as you can tell I'm like rushing my words because I'm so nervous but anyways I'm gonna get off here guys I love each and every one of you and I will see you guys in the next video bye